Hello, my beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so happy that you've joined me yet again on another YouTube video of mine. In today's video, I'm going to share my tried and tested hair care tips for winters. Winters are pretty much right here. In Bombay City, it gets pretty humid. Um, a little bit of dryness, a little bit of chilly weather, but up north in India and other parts of the world, it gets really, really cold. And these are all of my tried and tested tips that make a world of difference. Now, just with our skincare, how we have different routines for winters, monsoons and summers, we need to apply the same logic with our hair care as well because in winters it gets really dry the weather is cold frizziness increases you know you need to take more precautions a lot more tips and tricks different products that you need to use just make sure that your hair is soft it's not frizzy there's no hair damage and a lot more my hair is chemically treated it's bleached it's not colored i get this a lot in my dms in my youtube section comments on instagram my hair is not colored it's just a bleach balayage and then we tone it regularly so this is bleached hair I would say it's damaged but i've taken decent care of it it does get a little frizzy but that's just what natural hair does now if you're seeing me for the very very first time on youtube then welcome to my channel my name is Preeti, and i talk about all things cruelty free which means products that are not tested on animals i do a lot of shout outs to local brands to talk a lot about sustainability and a lot more things if this is the kind of content you resonate with maybe you want to watch more of then please subscribe to my youtube channel and continue watching today's video I don't want this video to be too long. I'm going to stick right to the pointers and of course explain them. So let's start right away. The first tip and a very important one is please dry your hair before you step out. Do not step outside with wet hair. Do not sleep with wet hair. It's really important to dry your hair. I spoke about this in previous videos as well. This is such an important tip, especially for winters and monsoons too. You know, in winters, because it's so cold, if your hair is wet, your roots are going to be first of all weak so now you're going to step out your hair is going to get damaged you're going to cause hair fall if you're going to sleep with wet hair you're going to wake up with the migraine sinusitis attack and your hair is not fully dry your roots are still weak now you're going to keep doing this every now and then you're going to make your roots so weak it's going to cause breakage it's going to cause hair fall right from the root and that's not good that's not good at all because it takes forever to grow back hair especially when it's so damaged so please 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 dry your hair now when the weather is too cold you're going to step outside with wet hair so you're immediately going to catch a flu of course you're going to get a sinusitis attack migraines maybe not just that the cold weather and your wet hair is going to make it even weaker you're going to get hair fall not just breakage but right from the roots this also happens if you sleep with wet hair i never sleep with wet hair because i have sinusitis i'm going to wake up with like my nose all jammed up and my head all heavy but apart from that when you sleep with wet hair your hair is more susceptible to damage your roots are so soft and so weak you're going to be tumbling and tossing down in bed and all of this is going to really cause that friction and really trouble your hair hair breakage is one thing and hair fall right from the roots is another you do not want to do that I spoke about this tip many months ago many years ago on YouTube and Instagram as well that I always blow dry the crown area like I blow dry it on medium to low heat just to dry out all of my roots and this can air dry too that's okay if you have too much of hair breakage then maybe blow dry your entire hair this is going to make your hair stronger in the long run of course if you're going to use full blast very very heavy heat high heat settings and that's going to burn your hair you don't want to do that but low to medium settings is perfectly fine of course you can use a heat protection mist if you have very very dry hair very brittle hair or hair that's just newly colored do try it out and let me know in the comments how it works for you because this is something that's recommended to me even by my hairstylist by every salon i've ever gone to Tip number two is using good quality hair serums. I love hair serums. I cannot go a day without a good serum, especially in winters when the weather is dry. You need to lock in all of that moisture. Use moisturizing serums, serums that are rich in healthy oils that protect your hair. Now, of course, if you have naturally straight hair that doesn't have a lot of frizz, maybe you don't necessarily need a serum. But if you have hair like mine that's colored, bleached, curly, wavy, damaged, frizzy, you need to invest in good serums. Now, one of the serums that I've absolutely been loving for months is this one right here from Be Blunt. I've spoken about this entire hair care range a while ago. I love the hair mask from this range, the shampoo conditioner. This is the Intense Shine Hair Serum and it's for long lasting shine and frizz control. It's got rice and silk protein. This is such a fantastic formulation. It is so lightweight. Let me quickly show you how this feels on the hair too. I have applied it already before shoot, but look at that intense shine. Look at that. 
it is such a beautiful formulation if you have bleached hair like mine get this serum you guys because it adds all of that shine just look at that shine and my hair is bleached to get a shine on bleach hair is a struggle you guys but just look at that be blunt was one of the first hair care brands and salons that i saw when i used to visit india now i stay here it's a different thing but i still remember be blunt hair care back in the day also was such a bomb this serum has been so good i have two of these already i actually bought one more because i want to travel with this as well this is perfect for all weathers honestly but for winters if you want to get that shine on your dry hair then this is the one for you every single product from be blunt is designed by expert hair professionals and i feel like that's why every single product is so good I've spoken about their hair masks so much in the past. They're such good formulations. Be Blunt is one of those premium hair care and styling brands and we all look at them and we're like, okay, fine, that's like an expert brand out there. They know what they're doing. It's like Be Blunt is synonymous with cutting edge hair styling and hair care and all the goodness out there. You'll notice that the frizz has reduced so much. I just applied like one pump for the entire hair and just look at that. It gives you this extraordinary glossy, smooth finish, frizz free for up to 72 hours. And honestly, that claim lives up because I I have tested the serum even in monsoons and it works you guys the brand claims that it gives you 10 times more shine and honestly my hair already looks shinier i'm doing this all real time with you guys right here and you can notice look at that there's no frizz at all silk protein and rice protein coat every single hair strand gives you that shine that strength reduces all of that frizz it's also got shine tonic this is an ingredient in a lot of their serums also it adds that really good shine and the best part is all of this together doesn't weigh the hair down i have a huge problem with serums man a lot of these serums have way too many oils and they really weigh down my hair i don't have the thickest head of hair every single hair strand of mine i would say is medium not very thick and a lot of serums like really really like weigh down my hair you guys even with hairstyles if i use a hair serum on top my hair is going to be flat but this i can use even after styling my hair and it's still going to stay in place it doesn't weigh it down i feel like the right word would be lightweight i use that a lot in skincare but this is a lightweight formulation it's non-greasy not sticky at all it's just so smooth and so lovely it smells amazing too the best part like an added cherry on top is that it also works as a heat protection serum the other serum that i absolutely love and this is great if you have very very dry hair this is from the intense moisture range i've spoken about this range on youtube on youtube shorts as well long back this serum has avocado jojoba argan oil and vitamin e this is such a beautiful formulation for very damaged and dry hair now because all of the oils used in this are so lightweight i like to use this on damp hair because this locks in all of that moisture it doesn't weigh the hair down so sometimes what i like to do is use this on damp hair and then what i like to do is use my intense shine serum that's what i use before styling my hair so supposing i want to blow dry it straight or i want to add that last minute shine that's when i use it so both of these even layered together don't weigh the hair down but this is fantastic if you have very very dry hair this is a fairly new product for me i've been trying and testing it for a few weeks now this is the curl defining hydra mist serum it hydrates and adds shine it's got coconut water and jojoba oil this is specially designed for curly wavy hair and i feel like it really helps to define the natural texture supposing you just use a curl cream and you don't want to use a gel you just want something that gives you those loose curls and loose waves while protecting your hair while giving you that shine with a little bit of a hold then this is the one it also smells so good this also has shine tonic so it gives you this beautiful shine nothing over the top it doesn't cost any stiffness to your hair Hair, it actually gently defines your hair i think this is great when you're on the go for a holiday when you don't want to use gels you're going to the beach this is going to be fantastic for that this is also great if you want to refresh your curls so if you've already done a curly girl routine and by the second or third day you want to refresh your curls you can use this just go in with water first dampen your hair and then use this now if you want to get these serums or any other products from be blunt you can use my code preeti2023 for 20 percent off across the be blunt website this is a non-affiliate code all of these products are also available on nika amazon flipkart but my code isn't applicable there now a commendable thing that be blunt does is with every order that you place they link that order to one woman who they empower with the samba foundation and they do all of this through their be blunt shine academy and i think that is beautiful they're on a mission to empower 10,000 women across the nation which is fantastic all of the info is on the screen you can also check out their website for more information
Tip number three is do an oil treatment, a good old chumpy, the trustworthy brown people thing. I speak about this in literally every single hair care video of mine. This is also something I spoke about in my monsoon hair care tips video. Now with this, you need to make it a point to deep condition your hair with oils once every single week. I'm not saying go excessive ham, use a lot of oil on your scalp. That's gonna make your dandruff worse. It's gonna make your hair even weaker, just a little just a little to massage your hair and if you don't want to apply any hair oil to your hair maybe you have dandruff and your dermat has specifically asked you not to apply oil that is perfectly fine to apply oil to these ends right here warm up some oil you can use a double boiling method where you boil water and you put another uh, utensil in it with oil so you double boil it if you have a microwave even better but that's something that i use because i can control the temperature really well so oils like jojoba argan olive sweet almond these are such fantastic oils they really deep condition your hair guys i've spoken about this tip i do like a diy oil you can also throw in some rosemary some fresh rosemary that's your call completely but this little concoction of these oils is lightweight it's not too greasy and it thoroughly thoroughly nourishes your hair a lot of people get super frizzy hair after showers especially in winters and that's mainly because they don't condition before wash we are so used to using a conditioner and a mask we forget what to do before a shower you have to do a chumpy our moms and our grandmoms and everybody has been doing it right it's just we have forgotten these ancient methods and that's why our hair gets so damaged usually for me sometimes i get itchy scalp so i'll use something that has tea tree i'll use a scalp tonic maybe some hair boosting growth serum or stuff like that so only on my ends is where I apply the oil and sometimes I like to wrap this in a warm towel a warm damp towel this allows all of that oil to absorb in a whole lot better into your cuticles and this just makes a world of difference your hair is gonna feel so soft after shower I I cannot recommend this more this is such a transformational tip tip number four is do a very nice deep conditioning mask every weekend so this is what i like to do right i'm going to do all the scalp massages and everything do a deep oiling technique before my wash and then after shampoo before conditioner i use a deep conditioning hair mask especially in winters i have natural waves and curly hair and this is right now blow dried straight so for me in winters my hair gets really dry especially because it's bleached i have to do this whole technique pre-shampoo oiling, deep conditioning with the oiling, wash my hair then deep condition with a mask now this totally depends what kind of a mask do you want do you want something that strengthens your hair like a protein treatment do you want something that softens your hair maybe something with avocado or shea butter something that's just calming and nourishing that is totally your call choose a hair mask that caters to your problem don't just use any hair mask out there because it's not going to give you that same result you're going to use a protein treatment when your hair doesn't need protein treatment your hair is going to feel so frizzy and so heavy and so stiff but if you already have good amount of protein in your hair, your hair doesn't have any limpness to it, it just needs that nourishment and shine, then you use a deep conditioning mask. So this will have ingredients like butter, seed butters and oil, something that is heavy but also easy to wash off. It's very different from an oiling technique, it's very different from a conditioner. A lot of people get this mixed up, so oil, wash, deep condition then you go in with your conditioner then you wash off all of that like you wash your deep conditioner then you go in with conditioner wash that off then you go in with the leave-in this is what you need to follow especially in winters generally i like to deep condition once every 10 to 15 days but in winters it's a weekly thing every weekend i do like a spa routine it is so so important deep conditioners really smoothen out your cuticles and close them if your hair is too dry too frizzy too damaged your cuticles rise and that gives you that frizziness and that rough texture but a deep conditioner really helps to condition your hair smoothen it out i have a whole video on the best conditioning mask i've made so much hair care content i can link the whole playlist to you guys in the caption caption description and then you can check it out but definitely check out the video where i spoke about the hair mask it's going to make a world of difference for you tip number five do not wash your hair very often a lot of people like to wash their hair every other day man that's honestly so bad for your hair because you're going to rip your hair off natural moisture natural oils it's just going to get even drier and then it's going to produce even more oil so now you have even more greasy hair by the second or third day you're really troubling the ph of your scalp and that's not good my scalp is really greasy and my ends are very dry because obviously they are bleached so what i like to do is on the weekend i do a whole ritual like you know the deep conditioning oiling everything and then once midweek is when i wash my hair again 
Now, of course, this can change for different hair types. For some people, if they have too much dandruff, then they have to wash it very often because obviously that's what their doormat has recommended. But a general rule of thumb is not more than three times a week. Do not wash your hair every single day. Oh my God. I know a lot of people who do that and that is so, so bad. You're going to get bald really fast, man. It's not good for your hair. And the last tip is a very simple one, but a lot of people make this mistake of using hot water on their scalp. Please do not use hot water, use lukewarm water. I know it's winter time and it's really cold and you don't want to take a cold shower and that's perfectly fine too. But you need to take a room temperature lukewarm shower, not just for your head, but also for your body. Excessively hot water might feel great in the moment because it relaxes you, but it's going to really over dry your scalp. It's going to over dry your hair. It's going to over dry your body. It causes so much moisture loss. It's not good at all. Excessive moisture loss means excessive sebum production by your skin to just now balance all of that pH, balance all of that moisture, and that's going to cause acne. You could get acne in your scalp. You could get acne on your body. Try using lukewarm water and try wrapping up your showers quick so that the lukewarm water doesn't get cold. Another problem with hot water is that it's going to make your hair super, super frizzy. It's going to make your cuticles of the hair rise up and that causes a lot of frizz. Your hair is going to feel dull. It's not going to have that shine. And also it's going to cause a lot of hair fall because hot water makes your roots very weak and you do not want to do that hot water is not that good for your body guys i would much rather you go for a steam or a sauna and stuff like that but don't use hot water directly on your body lukewarm is the best and after your shower after you've done like a lukewarm shower routine the final rinse from here to here use cold water like a cold water blast so it closes all of the cuticles and adds that shine this is a tip i mentioned in literally every single video of mine now since we're already on the topic of hot water another thing you want to do is not use a lot of heat styling tools now apart from all of these tips don't forget to use a good leave-in conditioner as well this should be a default for all hair care routines not just for women Winters, but if you have normal straight hair that's not too frizzy you can skip this tip if you have curly wavy damaged bleach hair you have to use a good leave-in and of course when you're stepping outside make sure to cover your hair all of that dry air can really damage your hair I really hope all of these tips were helpful I wanted to keep this video short sweet to the point also very informative i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did then please hit the thumbs up so that i know you enjoyed watching it let me know in the comments if you have any more winter hair care tips for me i would love to try them out and i'm sure anybody reading the comments will also benefit from it all right you guys i'm gonna catch you in the next videos but before i go don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel check out my previous videos right here and i will catch you in the next video till then take care of yourself and your hair bye